Welcome back to Limbus Company, Daily Mirror Dungeon. New updates come out with a new banner. Of course, means there is new stuff to get. A bunch of lunacy to claim. Uh, always nice. Extraction and yeah, target extraction Ishmael. Definitely makes a lot of sense that Ishmael's getting a target extraction. It was very weird because the past two weeks they didn't have like a target extraction for a certain sinner. So we only had two things. So now we're going back to the more normal three at a time. Well, um, the new units are here, that's for sure. W Hong Lu and W Ryoshu. I'm not going to take a look at them here because I will take a look at them after I get them. However, a little short on lunacy. Um, I'm going to do a single ten pull. I'm going to do my dailies into ten pull. So we've got roughly 13 chances in total to get the, the new identities. And two of those 13 are demon on the targeted banner, so, uh, we'll see. He looks like a one star from the general one. Alright. For the best. Don't think I really want to get good stuff from the ones where I'm not even likely to get the new stuff. Okay, yeah, just one star from both of those. And... Oh, no, I accidentally... Oh. I thought I did the daily pull for the standard, no. The one star Gregor was from that. All right. Well, that um, means none of these daily pulls are going to be anything too noteworthy, it would seem. Yep. Just a bunch of one stars, which is to be expected. And now, um, I'm going to do the ten pull. We'll see if I get lucky. No gold glow. Not seeming outlook not so good. But we'll see. Do we at least get the Hong Lu? Oh. Uh. Oh, there it is. Coffee. Four cranes tend to be rather cramped, don't you think? Well, that's good. We at least got him. Honestly, I just wanted—I just wanted to make sure I got him, if nothing else, from the actual ten bolt. Cause uh, I don't really want to spend my paid lunacy, cause I don't want to pay for more lunacy. So let's see, how are we doing on Ryoshi shards? I think I'm doing fairly well. Yeah. It's gonna pop like 150 on Ryoshi, and then I'll see just how close I am. Because, of course, once again, th this will mean I'll get roughly 300 Ryoshi shards, but it could be more, could be less. So I like kind of going not fully there with, like, the first bit of boxes. Yeah, 306. So we just need seven more. All right. And so we do this, and we got a little unlucky there. So we got to use one more on Ryoshi. And we got lucky there. All right. If you insist, team. And we've still got 230 boxes left. That's good. But now I can, I don't know, I can grab this unit, too. Absurd, can't believe I'm relegated to BS. <laughs> see, wait. Wait a second, before I do anything else, I, I gotta take another look at that. I feel like I saw something there. That, no, that's just our sword. For a second, I thought those were, like, the three-star, like, O's. But no, that's just her swords in the background, of course. Oh, she's like, got her hat on her sword. And, of course, Yi Song's there teaching the lecture for the new hires. HP, is that, a, is that a good amount of HP for a level one unit? I'm not fully sure. Oh, yeah, of course, first thing first. Always exciting, new quotes. Absurd, can't believe I'm relegated to blank. Blink tend to be rather cramped, don't you think? Oh, are we getting BS's training, those warp trains? I thought we were going to get BS as this one. So we can't believe I'm really good at training. Those warp trains is a, is a very funny phrase, though. What, what, what's the good thing there? There's so many of them now. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying to look through to see if I have any inspiration. If you're bored, you can skip to when the actual run starts. That'll be time stamped. I don't know. Very silly. That's for sure. Well, let's quickly select the two new units so we can see them showing up there. Finally, Ryoshi's gotten a new identity. It's been a long time since she has. 
And Hong was getting another identity, which is decent. He's got he had K Corp recently, so uh, nothing too special. But let's start out with Hong Lu. First things first. Get him to the appropriate level. God, I do not need to spend that many. I've got so many tickets right now, it's very nice. Once again, I am just gonna bring him to level 30 though. That's not level 30. I don't know why I thought that was level 30. I think I just misread something. I think it was because I was I don't know. Yeah, there we go. That's level 30. And we'll get him up to hide before we take a look at him close. I'm doing fine on... I'm, I'm worried, a little worried these guys um, up to hide 4 is going to be necessary. Because they are charge units. And there he is. He's so happy. And let's see his story. Ah, that was delicious. Which place should we try next? Why, DUI, I merely followed you out on a whim. You're on your own next time. You do you, I think? Maybe. Oh, that sucks. Child pouted, but the other child's only response was to puff out an apathetic stream of smoke. Also, I did notice, for some reason in this, in Hong Lu's uh, background, She's got, you know, a normal cigarette that's, like, orange. But in both of Ryoshu's own art, she's got, like, blue cigarette. Like, energy cigarette. Charged cigarette type thing. I guess it's just because they seem to just be in, like, the streets right now. Alright, how's it going with training the new hires? Th that seemed like an interesting job. Also, this is assumably supposed to be... Well, it's, there's a cafe there. That's probably just, like, at a warp station. Or maybe just... Nest W itself. It's supposed to be like some like super futuristic, like blue tinted land based on what we very vaguely seen from the actual warp station itself. And that's probably the thing. It's gotten the rest of the nest. <laughs> More dreary than grabbing lunch with you. Getting relegated to BS. It's exasperating. Uh, I'm sure it feels fresh every day though, doesn't it? You can see all kinds of different reactions to learning the truth from the newbies. I love how, like, casual Hong Lu is about, like, horrors. He's like, oh, the horrors, let's go. Let's see. <laughs> Why do you even care about that? If you're so eager to see them react, train them yourself. Don't care? I'd love to. It's just that it's not the kind of position that an L2 employee can easily apply for. If this is the kind of trash work L3 gets, I'd rather get promoted to L2. The smoking child flicked the butt of her cigarette and walked away, grimacing. Man, that wasn't very motivating, was it? The child, now left alone, smacked his lips and sipped the rest of his drink. Ever since he started working here, he never found any satisfaction with the work he was given. Perhaps it would be more accurate to say that he was simply coasting along and giving little thought to the kind of work he did. It wasn't like he applied to this place because he wanted to. He was just... Doing whatever the family elders told him to do, drifting to their whims all the way into W Corp. Most people would kill for even a chance to work for one of the wings, but it seemed that the family elders had no trouble pulling some strings to get him a position to W Corp. Though it was only thanks to his family that he was hired, it would be incorrect to say that he was unfit for the job. Maybe his diligent martial arts training from home helped. Though he had little trouble carrying out his duties at W Corp, but... <sighs> I envy you, Ryoshu. Your work seems so much more interesting than what I've got going on. The child was probably tired of doing what he was essentially the same work day after day. Checking out various restaurants near the company building being his only and recently discovering solace and tedium. A colleague of his who joined W Corp at the same time as he did had already risen to L3. Her competence clearly acknowledged, while he lagged behind at L2. <sighs> That's too bad. I guess I'll have to find a place for solo diners for dinner. None of that mattered to the child, however. At least he didn't need to, nor did he want to, be acknowledged. Very interesting stuff. All the Honglo identities seem to have vaguely similar stories behind them, or at least the corp ones do. That being, it's thanks to his family. Let's take a look at what he's got exactly. Skill 1, use game 3, charge count, game 1, charge count with both of those coins, 3 plus 4. Not bad as far as a charge count from primary, especially given this is only up to 3. It's probably better at up to 4. Game 3 charge count and high fire plus 2 when shielded. Let's see. 
first and then he gets charge count and his second point for this one gives him charge berry okay i need to read how this works because it wasn't very clear because we couldn't see the number here so gain charge barrier number times three shield okay lose one charge barrier value after losing charge barrier times three shield if the unit is W Corp, all charge berry effects activate charge barrier number times five instead of times three. In a charge count for each charge berry number and charge barrier and shield gain from charge. <laughs> under. Okay, so let's see. Summary. So, charge barrier basically gives you shield equal to three times the amount of charge barrier you have, or five times for W units. And the charge barrier value. For losing charge barrier number times three shield. So you lose charge barrier if you run out of charge. I think. So if you run out of if you run out of shield, you lose charge barrier, right? If you lose at the end of your turn, do you not? I guess I'll have to see. Is there like a is there two numbers? This is there is charge barrier value different than charge barrier itself? Yeah, it's because it's saying, like, I can't actually hover over here, but it's saying charge barrier value gets lost and charge barrier number. So maybe that's different things. Maybe those gonna maybe it'll make more sense when I actually get into the game. Oh, well. But warp units gain more of a benefit from it, which is interesting. Okay. And skill 3, deploy charge barrier 5 plus 3. Pretty, like, bad coin rolls, all things considered, for skill 3. It's kind of lame. A templus charge can consume all charge to apply... Charge count divided by two, rounded down charge barrier to two allies with the lowest HP percentage. Doesn't say other allies, so it can't apply to himself. And the third point inflicts a little bit of rupture in charge barrier. All right. His defense gives himself charge barrier three times per turn. Charge barrier this turn. Yeah. So does charge barrier trigger every, like, flash? In charge barrier shield. Use it. And gain charge count for every charge varied number and charge barrier and shield gain from charge. Hmm. I'm having a lot of trouble with this, but I think they made this a little too. They didn't explain it very well here. I'll understand it after playing with it around a little bit. Um, the five plus charge count at the start of the combat phase. Gain two haste next turn. Three pride on. That's not. That's actually pretty decent. What's the speed? Four through six. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Easy enough to trigger, especially because he's got a primary with that resource type. And it'll just mean that he's pretty constantly going to get haste if he's got a decent bit of charge. Yeah, not bad. He doesn't really bend from haste too much, but he's supposed to be like a semi. He's not a tank unit, he's more so a support unit, I'd say. Supporting his allies by like giving them the barrier. And his support thing is the same thing for the lowest speed gains two charge if it two haste if it's five plus charge count. That's interesting. Definitely could be good if we get to the point where we've got too many charge units and we have to have some people bench for the support passive. Just being able to make it so the lowest speed person has enough charge they can just gain haste. Maybe that will have some usage later. And let's see what he gets at uptight for. And one additional charge come from his primary and that's the only difference it seems like. Yeah. Secondary gets a base power up of one. And the second coin... Gain charge barrier for every five charge count instead of being based on two. Oh, so that actually could be worse. Oh no, it can't be. It's five plus charge count. So this is, it means it'll always be at least this. But if you're at five plus charge, five to ten, five to nine charge, you gain one charge barrier. If you're at like fifteen to nineteen, you gain three. And if you're at twenty, you just straight up gain four. I see. That's a nice benefit, I think. And it becomes a plus four instead of a plus three with this one. And inflict a little bit more rupture. Guard becomes pride. The passive gets better. Templus charge can gain one additional haste. Okay. I see. I'm not gonna upside that. It doesn't seem too crucial, but it definitely seems like it could be very beneficial, that's for sure. But now, um now let's take a look at Ryoshu, I think. See what he's gonna have. Okay, first things first. Gonna feed her a bunch of the tickets. Like that. Get her to level 30. Very crucial if we're gonna be doing hard mirror dungeon today, which we are. And bring her up to Uptie 3. 
So you can watch my ability. It's been a sign made of proper field work, not babysitting. That is a very cool artwork, I gotta say. That's for sure. And we'll see what her story is exactly. So, what do you think? I get to visit a museum, an exhibition featuring brand new pieces of art every single day. All that for a bit of physical labor. Alright, you're insane. This is definitely Ryoshu talking to herself, being like so like intrigued by like the horrors created on the trains. Um I guess I probably should have mentioned if you haven't played Ruina, um a lot of this isn't gonna make sense to you. I guess there's the Dante's notes thing, but it's still really not gonna make sense to you. Just don't worry about W Corp stuff if you haven't played Ruina. No, no, I'm not expecting the answer. I don't think anyone else would care to look at this writing either. Consider this a complex, unsimplifiable art critique after a visit to a gallery. That's what she... I see. Oh, all right, then. That's what she sees her cleanup as, being an art critic. There wasn't anything special that drew me to join this company. I didn't find it very exciting, either. When I was offered this cleanup agent job, I considered it no different from my usual contract, except that it'll be guaranteed a fixed income. I thought, of course, a corporation of this size, a wing at that, much less stuff to clean up here and there. I didn't care about what they did, as long as they didn't annoy me, so I signed the contract. So imagine my surprise when this train that people take without giving it a second thought every single day turned out to be a gallery of art sculpted with chisels of time. When I was impressed with how well they were hiding this truth from the public, three words came to mind. This. Is. It. In hindsight, I was so absorbed with chasing after and creating my own art that I neglected to appreciate the art of others. Simple realization. Appreciating others' art expands and deepens your understanding of their act of creation, regardless of its genre. That was why my recent work had been plagued with vapidity and regurgitation. No genuine, vivid imagination comes forth without a touch of reality. As someone that uses soft tissues to conjoin two train cars, becoming a new door between them. One that wraps its flesh around the plush side of the seat, embodying a new chair with extra cushioning. One that is an amalgam of many, taking the shape of a new organization and lurching on. So I wouldn't classify that as art. Not yet. Comrade joke, of course. It doesn't qualify even as a performance art, as there was no intent to create the art behind it. Dealing without intent is, in the end, insufficient to be called art, which is incomplete at best. I butcher them, because the company ordered me to make them easier to clean up. To interfere with the process of involuntary art isn't to my liking, no, but that doesn't happen very often. Besides, there's plenty to be gained from the rest. I enjoyed the company issued gear, too. Void Curse Blade, Refraction Demon Blade, Dimensional Art Knife. I had many names for the idea of the blade, but I eventually landed on Dimensional Demon Edge. God. What a goofy name. I took enjoy the part where it drained me when I cut down an incomplete art without proper preparation. Indeed, dealing with works of art without appropriate mindfulness is itself an act of self-destruction. Not self-damage when you don't have enough charge, I see. Her charge is like her own like mental manifestation of like her art critiquing or whatever. This is such an interesting look into Ryoshi's, like, I would have loved to keep doing that kind of work. I would have even forgone sleep to do so. What are the higher ups thinking? Ludicrous making me babysit these rookies. <laughs> look at that guy over there, blabbering on and on. Maybe he enjoys this kind of humdrum work. Talking about Yi Sang. What an oddity. How does he find this interesting in any capacity when solid gold rolls into the station every single day? If you like BS that much, he might as well do this whole drivel himself. <laughs> as if they'd let that happen. Now even at this very moment, I'm missing out. Oh silly, how interesting. Really is her dimensional demon edge. So this is definitely dimensional demon edge dimensional refraction. Yeah, I think so. Dimensional Demon Edge, Dimensional Refraction. That's the that's only where Skills 3 is supposed to be. I saw some people, like, theorizing based on what it could be based on the names of these passives. And I think Dimensional Demon Edge, Dimensional Refraction kind of rolls off the tongue, you know? 7 to 14. <laughs> what do you mean 7 to 14? Alright, let, let's look through this unit now, though. Oh god, look at that HP. That's not a lot of HP, that's for sure. It's not good because she has self-damage stuff. 
Temple's charge count two more damage with skill one and gains four charge count if it hits everything. Secondary gives six charge count. Temple's charge count gains point power. Temple's charge count inflicts slash fragility. Target's HP is below 30%. Deal additional damage and on kill gain haste. Alright. Decent things. Some like decent ish. Skill one, skill two rolls. I'd say, yeah, two plus five with three coins. Skill two is definitely not bad, especially at high sanity. But then here we go. Dimension, d dimensional demon edge dimensional refraction. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. Seven to 14 charge count. Consume all charge count. And consume three times. 15 minus charge count. Consume percent HP to gain three coin power. I see. 15 point heart to gain 3 coin power. So there's three possible outcomes. From 0 to 6 charge, no coin power, it's just a 3 plus 2 with 4 coins. 7 to 14 charge count, you'll effectively substitute any charge count you have below 15 in order to spend HP in place of charge. 3%, I guess it's effectively 3% HP for every charge count below 15 you have when you trigger this. That's very interesting, that's for sure. And of course, if you just have 15 or more charge count, you just spend that. On coin deals 5% more damage, 5% more damage, 5% more damage with all three of these ones. And on kill with the first fourth coin, if it consumed all 15 charge unused, apply 5 charge barrier to self and one other ally. Base smart plus 1 for 5 guard count, max 2. Interesting. And then passive, the feeding enemy gain 2 charge count 3 times per turn. Interesting. A lot of this stuff isn't a lot, doesn't allow more than one time per turn. Won't trigger too often, I don't think, but that could be pretty beneficial. Uh, lowest max speed defeats enemy to gain charge count. All right. And then what does what does Opti Four do for it, theoretically? I could get it if I you know spend some boxes. Templates charge count deal ten percent more damage. That's normal fifteen percent charge count deal even more damage with their primary. Fifteen percent charge count additional damage. 2 slash fragility instead of 1, 30% more damage, and 3 haste, and 1 kill. What's that for the secondary? And what does the tertiary gain? 5 coin... Excuse me. Excuse me, going from plus 3 coin power and a 4 coin skill to plus 5? It goes from a 3 plus 5 to a 3 plus 8 with a 4 coin. I think it was also, you know, giving... It was more of a benefit, I think, as well, right? God, there's even more stuff being benefited. Yeah, jeez. Final point is more damage, more, more damage, more damage. Seven charge barrier to self. The evasion gets a little more of a benefit. Speaking enemy gain three charge count instead of two for the passive. All right, yeah, that's 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 getting an upside. That's for sure. Let me just quickly pop like. 75 boxes on Ryoshu. There's Ryoshu, there she is. That'll be good enough. And we needed 50, I think, right? I'll do, I'll, I'll just do this for now, though. That'll be good enough. Bring it down to 75 shards. And then absolutely up tying this. Yeah, that seems like an insane benefit to get. Every literally everything got enhanced. I think this is the only person who gets everything enhanced at up type four. Skill one, two, three, defense, and both passive. Like barely anyone has support passives get buffed. I know like Faust does, but like that's probably about it. Maybe a couple other random people. Alright, well this has been a little bit of a long early section of the video. That's for sure. But um, the good thing is, this is going to be our first time doing Mirror Dungeon 2 hard with full Starlight rewards. That'll be cool. And of course, going to go for charge stuff this time. Well, anyways, let's just get into it. And uh, while I'm setting up the team, let's let's get uh, our question of the day running. I'm doing it now, so it'll be after, like, you know, the jump cut. So people who skip the first 25 minutes will still be able to see it. But, um, question of the day, what do you think about the new units? I don't know, that's definitely a bit of a vague one, so these two new units, of course, W. Honglu, W. Ryoshu. How do you think about them from, like, a stylistic design, like, uh, gameplay design, stuff like that? 
Once again, I'm I. This isn't one I'm gonna answer till you know the end of the video because I haven't done anything. But chances are that by the time you're watching this, you've uh, already used them yourself, possibly, or if not, you can just wait till the end of the video to make your final decision on how you feel about these units. Well, these are all the people we start with. Yeah, just entire W Corp team. That's all we need. Luckily, it's kind of perfect as far as the actual numbers go. We'll throw it on teleport here. Why not? Why is Oh. That's an interesting bug. I didn't notice that first. For some reason, they brought back the symbol for gaining more scrap parts. That really should only be on... This symbol should really only be on, you know, the actual identities and egos that give additional scrap parts. But, um, yeah, moment, there is a bug. Who would have thought? And it's just on top of everyone now. I'm sure it means nothing, but it's funny to see. Wait, right, what if we take her ego? It's just this, probably? I think this is this is what I like to go for, so I think I'll go for it like this. Warp. This guy is certainly a thing. And it just, yeah, it just works out pretty much perfectly. Yeah. Because there's three three stars. And look at this. Almost everyone here is at up type 4. Only one that isn't is Hong Lu, because I don't think it's necessary. We're going to run with this team, and we're going to see how it goes. All right. So think about it, we've got a lot of Slash in this team, so Slash is kind of our best option, but we're going to go Middle Path here, just because we'll have two options after this instead of being limited to just one. And we'll, we'll do a order like this. That'll work. Of course, the units we're going to be looking for, absolutely... Well, really, there's only four charge units that we kind of would strive for in the first place. Oh, that looks weird. Oh, God. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's at the... I don't like that. Okay, yeah. You can now change your combat. There we go. This is much better. As strange as it is, I'm so used to... In the recent update, they made it so you can actually set it up to be 60 FPS for combat and normal differently. Um, I have it set to 30 FPS because just... This feels so... Ah, this feels so weird. It's far too smooth for me. Maybe, like, on the recording, it doesn't look different, but, like... This feels so cursed to me. Probably only record 30 FPS, honestly. I don't even know what my recording settings are set to, but uh, this is far too smooth for me. I'm setting it back down. Um, If it makes, you know, a big difference, say something in the comments. I think the texture quality, of course, being at its highest is kind of important, but I don't think the other part is. Um, hmm. Not a lot of good options this first turn. That's for sure. I guess everything just feels slightly weird, just because that, like, the frame rate increase really just threw me off for, like, everything. I'm so used to the low frame rate of being 60 FPS for a little bit was just so strange. For a second, I thought they had actually made, like, big optimization fixes. But I don't think that was the situation at all. I think they made some optimization fixes in this update, didn't they? Mainly stuff about, like, audio stuff or something. You know, maybe my phone will be able to run the game now. That would be cool. Not really gonna bet on it, though. Got an old phone. Okay, Ryoshi's losing our flashes. Love to see it. Everyone's losing their clashes, though, so, um, not really that much of a shock. We're winning some clashes, and luckily, W Corp is enough, like, semi tanky units that's not too much. Yeah, this. Ryoshu has just so little HP. Even less HP than Warp Dawn, which is pretty fun. I guess it works well with the fact she's the spender own HP percentage wise. We can get DD, EDR off here, though. We can try it, at least, I guess. See if it works well. So yeah, she caught, spent 13 HP there because she was two charge short, so she effectively spent 60% of her max HP. Yeah, that was a 24, alright. Yeah, the charge barrier actually does have a funny, like, physical effect. That's very weird looking. It's very, like, strange, that's for sure. Let's see, can I see how much? He's at 183 HP. That doesn't show how much 
shield he has, though. There's not really a way to see how much shield. But he gained... Against five. So he gained, he's gaining 10 shield, I think. Don't gain charge, charge barrier and shield gain from charge barrier expire completely next turn. Charge barrier and shield gain from charge. Charge barrier gain from charge barrier expire. Man, I don't know. I think it's something I'm just not going to... I don't even think it's something you need to pay too much attention to anyways. It just feels like the kind of thing you always want to get running so you just take less damage overall. I don't think I need to be paying this much attention to it. Maybe I should, though. Last week. Love to see it in top path for us, so we have more paths afterwards. What do we have that isn't Slash? We've got a bit of Pierce. I guess Faust is Blunt, isn't she? Yeah, Blunt, all Blunt stuff from her, but like, your secondary is Pierce. Mersault's all Slash. Is Hong Lu Pierce? Yeah, he's Pierce for his primary and secondary, but his third year is Slash. So yeah, mostly Slash team. Maybe we can get some good things going here. I'm gonna have to get used to these new units, but uh, W Ryoshu is definitely going to be very fun. W Dawn has already been like one of my favorite units, so um, certainly something. It's just it's definitely very similar, of course. She got a different weapon because Dawn got these dual blades, but then Ryoshu's got her. Dimensional Demon Edge, which is a very funny name. I I, I do love that kind of. I do love like that stupidly long name things. Oh yeah, look at these rolls on her skill two of all things. All right, it's because she's got a lot of charge right now. I know that, but like she's building up the charge pretty fast. That's for sure. What's what's the term for? There's definitely a term for like the stereotype like character they're thinking of. Like, you know, the one who's like always like, oh, I must save the world, this power. And but they're like clearly just delusional, but not like Dawn type delusional, just like they think they're like an anime character type of delusional. There's a term for that. I know it. I most commonly think of it as a we probably shouldn't immediately do the the R D D D D E D R. Dance Dancer Evolution. Um, to do that immediately. I think it most likely as a Zeke von Genbu from Xenoblade. That that's what Dimensional Demon is giving me huge vibe for Bringer of Chaos vibe. And I think it's very cool. we do it now? We're not gonna do it now. Double leap. How much charge does she gain from leap and stuff? Gain seven charge. Yeah, just seven charge from her secondary. And gains four charge from her third, from her primary. Yeah. Well, Slash Fragility is also super nice. That's It's funny how Slash Fragility is like a thing on most of Ryoshi's identities. Three out of five of them have Slash Fragility infliction methods on them, I think. Or no, I guess our default doesn't have Slash Fragility. It's got Slash damage up. But it's close enough. It's a lot of Slash stuff from her. Her only identity that isn't Slash stuff is, of course, her, um... Her Kurokuma one, because that's Pierce. Oh, that very well could have just been Slash. I don't know why they didn't keep up with the joke. And I guess so does her only Ego that isn't Slash. I guess that's another piece of for the joke. Down that guy goes. Give him a good stabbing. Stabby stabby. You yeah, know. This is and this is definitely a very okay, alright. Let's pet the fox. Everyone's got good results in this. Hong Lu, you pet the fox, you deserve it. Sun shower immediately, alright. Slash and Sloth. What is this? I'm trying to think, it's not. Is it dogs? It might be. I'm trying to think what's slash and sloth week. Oh, I guess it could be like ink shoes. Yeah, I was about to say it. It could be like 
Hurdly minions, pink shoes, something like that. Defense. Huh. I think they... Did they mess up the hitboxes? I think they might have messed up the hitboxes a little bit for... Targeting. I feel like it used to not be this finicky. I guess it's just... It's based on the middle and not the pointer. Maybe I'm just overthinking this. This happens every update. I overthink things... And I'm like, no, this this probably isn't a change. I'm probably overthinking it, but I'm usually right. Yeah, normally this would connect, I think. You can see it's like not hovering over it because it's based on the middle of the cursor, not the actual tip of the cursor now. Really need to pay more attention to the patch notes, huh? This kind of stuff's probably written in most of them. But it's really throwing me off as far as the targeting goes, even though it really shouldn't be. It's nothing like that insane. Oh, we've got a couple neutrals going on here. To be expected, though. This is Mirror Dungeon too hard. We're gonna lose clashes. And you're going to like it. If we can get some Rupture stuff, that would also be super good for us. Ryoshi's weapon also has some funny hit sounds. Okay. Staggered that guy, that's good. This one's going desirous. You don't have enough courage because you lost a clash. Envy current should be good. A leap should be very good. Like a cleanup support on you and like a leap on you. Something like that. There we go. This person's not dying, that's for sure, because we only hit them with Dawn's primary and nothing else. We should have hit them with another attack, but I didn't really think it through, so. Oh well. I guess the leap from Ryoshi will not be necessary there after all. Hong Lu lost the clash. Luckily, there is an another attack going for that one. So Faust might build a stagger, not quite. Eh. Oh well, they're both desirous now. Play charge barrier. Um, you don't have a charge for that. We can go for a leap now, though. And it's. I guess it isn't that strong in this situation. Yeah, we'll redirect it. Right, we have far too many attacks going for the bottom person, but top person got staggered, so it doesn't really matter. And they're still dead, so it does, really doesn't matter. There we go. Clean enough victory, I'd say. And, ooh, really giving us three charge things. I mean, this is the obvious one. Use something that gives you charge, everyone gains three charge. Charge giving damage up is nice, and random people getting charge is nice, but employee card's the obvious choice here. No, there's no situation where I'd go for the other one. Just being able to give everyone three charge if I used any charge at all. If I gained any charge at all the turn before. Yeah, that's going to trigger a couple times. Mersault skill, mm. I mean, I think I wait on this. Curriculum, actually. Dumbless charge, gains haste, power up. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. That's charge stuff. That's charge support. And because this is Mirror Dungeon 2... Oh, I forgot to recruit people. I always forget this. Oh, no. Well, we're only stuck with five people for, um, until floor 4. Because I always forget that you kind of need to purchase people on that part. Ugh, whoops. I mean, I think we'll be fine, but... Definitely a little bit of a whoops moment. I think we passed if you could avoid getting hurt. That's a good idea. I should probably avoid getting hurt. Okay, what, what can the slow people do? Can Faust do anything here? Faust can do something. You can leap. Aver, that's good. You can do something. You can crash either of these two. Alright. Leap this guy. And which of these do we want to ignore? Probably the person on the bottom, because they're hitting Mersault. Oh yeah, that looks good. Seems like a smart play to me. I'm going to support this one, and then rip this guy. Neutral, he can win neutrals though. Yep, look at that. And he's got his slash protection from his skill one. Truly a beneficial thing to get from a skill one. What an interesting clash sound for Leaf. Or Ryoshi just in general, I think. That really sounds like... I don't know what it sounds like. I'm trying to think of it. Like a... Like a some sort of, that sounds like a weird metal, that's for sure. Kind of hollow-ish, I think. 
Nice. Curriculum Invitation triggered for quite a few people. That's good. It didn't trigger for you despite having enough charge. Oh, I guess it's because, yeah. It's because the plus three for employee card triggers after curriculum would have triggered. That would do it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to keep on doing this. You'll notice I'm, I'm going to consistently have trouble actually targeting these guys. Eh. Well, we can go for that on this guy. Rip can probably kill this guy. That's a clash win. And leap this one. Yeah, alright. Got decent results on all clashes, most likely. Leaps, because we've got a lot of charge is rolling insane. Ooh. He's losing clashes. He's losing the clash. He's... We won the clash after all that. And luckily because it's the third coin that actually gives him the charge barrier, he's still got the charge barrier stuff from that. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, just a couple of these guys left now. Dominating, this will kill this guy. We'll do something like this on this guy, make sure he dies. Energy cycle you. You know, we're gonna DDE DR you. Oh yeah, look at that. Because she got over 15 charge, the sword is glowing now. I was wondering if it would do that. And I guess I wasn't... I don't know if I got a chance to see it in the past. Look at that. I'm absolutely loving how some identities get special visual effects at certain po points. Namely the charge identities do it usually, but other stuff as well, like Kekor Pong Lu putting on the mask once his passive is triggered. It's just such a nice effect. It really makes it feel like you've like switched stances, I guess. That's a way to phrase it. Yeah, you're going for a one-sided attack. I guess we should probably... And you know what? Don can take the attack. I just really want to get this off. I want to see how funny it'll be. Oh, now I know. The charge barrier is giving me a risk of rain vibes. <laughs> I guess it's because they're both Unity games. They're probably made, like... They're, they probably have similar effects. Like, however that sphere is made, however it works, like, in the file, they're probably done, like, similarly to the Risk of Rain one. Statistically speaking, I don't know the most about Unity, but, uh, it's probably similar method. Yeah, that's not definitely nice. That's definitely some decent damage. God. I guess it's part of the course for strong charge entities is the insane skill theory. Tremor. Well. Daring today, aren't we? Uh, which, what do we take? Do we take the risky encounter? Even if it means we won't have a choice afterwards. I I, I like the illusion of free choice. Let me know top best. We need to be a little careful now, though, because Dawn's a little low on HP, because we kind of let that one side attack go through on her. For the sake of the joke. Wasn't exactly my smartest move, but I still stand by it. Alright, okay, I've, I've got the hiccups now. Hopefully that's not being picked up on the mic, but it probably is, so uh, apologies. Yeah. Not liking how Dawn's doing, that's for sure. Especially because if this keeps on happening... Alright, so you're, you're going to spend a bunch of HP here, but you're also going to win this clash and demolish this guy, so I'm fine with it. What I want to know now is, will her HP cost stagger herself? Because it's kind of inconsistent whenever, like, non-direct damage types stagger people. Kind of like burn, burn will stagger people, but bleed won't. And it's very peculiar because of that fact. How do you Ryosha build up so much charge immediately after spending it all? Wait, does she not spend it if she spends the HP? Really, she does. Consume all charge and consume two times. How do you have 16 charge, though? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Think about it. Last turn, she used her skill 3 and her skill 2 last turn, so she spent all her charge. She gained 7 charge. And then, what? Oh, she defeated an enemy, gained more charge, that's probably it. 
Random against charge after an attack from Faust. Yeah, it's it's probably just some from a bunch of random other charge effects we have. We've got so many different charge methods right now. So I'm probably overthinking it. I'm mostly just wondering if it was bugged, because that is kind of par for the course for the new unit to be bugged somehow. So I was expecting it. If we can get the gloves this run and just increase our max charge, that would be very good. It'd be very funny for us, because we could get the theoretical, like, double DDDR turn if we get up to 30 charge and just use both of them there. Alright, should have taken the bottom bath, good to know. Put the sheep free. This is Slash and Envy stuff, which is um a little good. Envy Resonance, we can get definitely trigger that. Pierce and Wrath. Let's speak to Pierce. Is this... I don't know. Is this, like, Cyborg or something? Whenever I say something weak to Pierce, like, there's, like, three enemies that are weak to Pierce in the game. I don't know. It's not the Snake. Snake's not weak to Wrath. Um... Oh, yeah, it sure is. It's it's Clippity Cloppity. And he, he sure is weak to Pierce and Wrath. That's good to know. That means cleanup support's pretty good on you. It means a little bit of an overcharge. A little bit of winning some clashes with the other people, hopefully. Recycling. Looks good. It's kind of like metal pipe noises, you know? Um... Just, just Ryoshu's weapon. I think that's what I've been trying to reach for this entire time. Whenever it clashes, it sounds like using like a metal pipe or like a, I guess more so like kind of like a metal tube, like a kind of cardboard tube type noise, but metallic. Which is just a metal pipe, so I don't know why I'm saying it like this. What is wrong with me? Okay, a couple of these guys are delirious. Not delirious, they're desirous. Uh, God, yeah, double leap this guy. Honestly, hopefully that just kills him. My goal this turn is just to stagger these guys so I don't actually need to clash with any of this, because I don't really think I want to clash with most of this. Oh, you've got to clash against that guy, though. That's rude. Should be fine, though. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, okay, that one's staggered. That's the desirous minion. And this minion is... The one that isn't desirous, so he's gonna win his clash, do a lot of damage to Hong Lu. And Leap wins the clash. Never mind. Okay. I spoke too soon. Alright. That was a little bit of damage. That was just a just a small amount of damage right there. We're not putting on the shoes, as tempting as it is. Ryu sure you win though. You you easily. Secondary, yeah. I guess our tertiary is not good for actually winning clashes. And now we just gotta kill you. Do we have any healing methods on this team? I didn't take blue as Zach for Faust, so um that's not an option. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if we've got any good healing methods. I think we just kinda gotta rely on I guess at the start of the next floor, we're going to get a rest stop, so we can heal everyone up there, and maybe just only heal one person. Ryoshi is the star of the show, so we really can't let her die, so we might just only heal her. And we take Homebird here, though. Bleed and burn stuff doesn't matter. That'll just be more healing for us, so we'll be in a better spot. No one else really needs healing. Dawn could use a little bit of healing, but I think I'd rather just go all in on healing Ryoshi. There we go. And leave the rest up. One with three paths to slash with two paths. I'll take slash with two paths, honestly. <sighs> We've got a lot of slash. It'll it'll benefit us. Okay, neutral, that's fine. Looking good. That's the kind of thing I've been noticing about Ryoshi. Ryoshi is what's her speed roll? Doesn't seem like it's very good. Uh 
So I feel like she's been getting low a lot. Maybe she's- I think she's been getting decent rolls some of the time. It's just probably just been low the times we've been paying attention to it. What is her speed roll? It's three to six. Let's see. That's that's like normal. It's being modified with the Starlight stuff in case you don't know why. It just randomly seemed to add on to it. Okay. Yeah, and this guy's been staggered. That's good. Another guy's been staggered. Staggered plus even. Staggered. So they're all just staggered, so we can kind of just execute them here. And we'll do it like this. Because Ryusha got enough charge to get her DD DR off, so might as well. Hong is getting his kill, killing them with style, and then here's the DD DR. Oh, because she's actually got the low. Oh! That's why she's got low HP. I understand now. It's so that she gets targeted by Hong Lu's passive. Because she's got low HP, she's going to get hit by the barrier, and therefore she's going to get the benefit from because they're supposed to go like hand in hand. I read the tablet. Mersault, you're the pursuance guy. You read the tablet. I would have been so angry if you managed to get all tails there. That scared me a little bit. That'll be good, though. That'll be some nice effects. And we'll take the risky encounter here. But yeah, I mean, I know that's not the only reason why Ryoshu's got such a low HP value, but I think that's partially why, because they're supposed to go hand in hand. That's why Honglu, you know, shows up in Faust's, uh... Or no, in... Why Honglu shows up in Ryoshu's arbor. Vice versa, why Ryoshu shows up in Honglu's arbor. You know what I mean. I love to misspeak. It is late. I very infrequently actually record, like, these videos when the update comes out. I usually wait till the day after recently, because, uh, sleep schedule. That's a lot of struggling. Maybe you should, like, kill them all. Will you have Temple Stretch out? You will not. Alright. Hit him with one of these, then, honestly. No, hit him with one of these. Nah. We'll hit him with one of these. Struggling there. Did that make something else struggling? No, it didn't. I'm, I'm just doing things. Um, that'll be fine, though. We've got a couple other strugglings going on, but I'm kind of hoping that some of these guys get staggered, some of them die. We can take a couple hits. I don't want to resort to Ego Spam this early. Red Eyes opens, getting fairly good results. Kills, eh. That's fine. Heads would have been cooler, but, uh, you do you. Yeah, 24 damage across the board. Not enough to stagger those guys. But now we're probably about to lose a couple clashes. Come on, Hong Lu. Oh, Hong Lu won in a clash that wasn't a very good chance. Dawn lost the clash that wasn't a very good chance, but she's fine because it was only a single coin attack. Dominating, neutral. Alright, looking good. Dawn's kind of been getting trolled so far this run. It's, it's just because she hasn't been able to build up a lot of charge, because her primary, like, both of her, her primary and her secondary kind of require dealing damage to build up decent charge, I think. I guess that's kind of, like, the main issue. If he's losing a lot of flashes, she's not dealing a lot of damage. She's not landing a lot of hits and therefore suffering for it. Like, we only now reach 10 charge count. Look at the barrier so many people have. So swell. Look, rupture on my enemies on the speed value. Um, there, there's a little bit of rupture synergy here, and we'll take this. We've got the fight afterwards. Remove the nails. This will be a little bit of bleed. It doesn't really matter. Reassure you do it. Need to get two of these. There you go. Moon. I mean, iron stake. Single queen skill fix bleed and defense level down. Sure. We can fear speak to envy. This is. Oh, this is Gluppo, isn't it? This is the blubbering toad, or Gluppo, as he's more commonly known in the community for some reason. Because he kind of looks like a Gluppo. Sure is. This is the second time I think I've seen him. Yeah, don't have his observational very high because of that. 
Alright, so we just kind of got to kill him. That's the entire gimmick. Okay, he's weak to Envy across the board. He's weak to Blood and Gloom on a couple pieces. Um, I don't know. What's the best strategy here? There's the left eye, there's the right eye. So this is the body. It's doing SP damage to us. Not very nice. Really wish I had another person at this point, but uh, that's fine. We'll get more people next floor. We'll probably just grab, like... I guess Rose Banner Gregor is the only two-star that we... The only charged two-star that we don't have on the team right now. Because it's either that or it's... Rose Spanner, Rodeon, or it's one of the other R Corpions. Hmm. Well, this isn't looking great. We need to build up charge and quickly. So I think this is going to be an envy turn. I think that's going to be your strategy. Maybe we should go for this. Maybe we should corrode this. I don't corrode this very often, but it gives a guaranteed 12 charge count to all allies. But it also gives fragile to all allies, which is a little scary. It is a mass attack, though. That is cool. It is swell. Okay, well, we'll try it. Why not? A little bit of gambling. Never hurt anyone except for the people it's hurt. And then we've also got this as far as charge egos go. And we've got this. I'm not going to go all out on turn one, though. This is Glovo we're talking about. We can take a couple hits from him. Especially with, like, people like you. You need to hit to gain your new barrier. Eh, who's it hitting you? Okay, that's fine. You can take some hits. Don't hit the body, though. I was gonna hit the body with some one-sided, but I don't think that's a good move. But that should be good, I think. We're using both of our teleports we have. Just to get them up and running. Fails, that's to be expected. There's the funny tree branch thingy. There's a lot of rupture and stuff on everyone. That's fine. Everyone will be fine. Look at that defense level down he's inflicting. Sure, he spent all his charge to do it, but uh... It's awesome. And is gonna make it so Faust's passive triggers, so the more charge she has, just straight up more damage she deals. Just cool passive. Kinda hard to get too much use out of it, because, uh... Warp Faust is, like, fine. Definitely the weakest of the warp units. But look at that charge you've got across the board. Pretty good. Dawn's got a little bit of, uh, rupture on herself. King 10 rupture, King 10 rupture. How do you have 30 though? That's what I don't understand. How do you get 30? I understand like... Oh, it's on hit because it hit multiple parts. I see. Because it hit two parts, so it counted as hitting twice. So it gave her 20 rupture. And then she got an additional 10 rupture because all allies include herself. I was a little confused for a second. Uh, we can make sure you don't get hit too hard then. And you do not have your funny attack yet. Unfortunate. You can definitely win a couple clashes, though. Something like this. Something like this. And you cannot get hit. That's for sure. Well, some people. Well, our one to decided to attack scope for that eye. You've got barrier right now, so you can kind of go for a neutral. Sleep good, not particularly. Energy cycle is that good, not particularly, but it's a mer salt, will be fine. We'll run with this then. Everyone's doing pretty good on charge. And the eye is almost staggered, will be staggered shortly. There it is. So now we'll be able to damage down a little bit. Oh, mer salt won the clash, that's good. Definitely wasn't guaranteed at all. Gotta be careful, because as soon as you break the eye, someone's gonna lose a lot of sanity. Yeah. That's good. And that eye's been staggered as well, so both of his eyes are staggered. Lose SP on use. That's fine, because we can DDDR one of these pieces. Which one do we go for? That's the question. Um, it doesn't make a difference. The only difference is they're 
gloom weakness and their wrath weakness. One is weak to gloom, the other one's weak to wrath. It doesn't matter right now, so we're gonna do it on the eye that's already lower, I think. Need to win a couple flashes here. Which might happen. Neutral. Rebling. Eh. You can take that, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, sure, you guys can all go for this eye, and we'll have Ryoshu's other tech go for this eye as well. Just so we can do a decent bit of damage to it. Well, that's a lot of damage. And I think, it seems like Hong Lu probably lost the sanity when the eye broke. Or is it next turn? Or does it happen immediately? I don't remember if it's next turn or immediately. It might have been Faust, actually. Oh no, it was Dawn. That would do it. Well, this eye is at 3 HP. Another DDR. I'm not going to use it here, though. It would cost HP. I just realized I should probably use it anyways. Who cares? It's going to cost what? Missing four charge, you might get a little more beforehand depending on how things go. Um, based on my calculations, it'll probably be fine. We got a clash against that. Hopeless. That's not good. Uh, defend. Everyone's going for that eye now. Down it goes. And it looks like Dawn lost a bunch of sanity there, so she's gonna grow if we don't kill this guy this turn. And I don't really want that to happen. Um, so probably try and kill this guy this turn. We're not gonna kill him this turn. He's too bulky. Yeah, so that's negative forty-five sanity. She's corroding. Lock. None of you are free from sin. Okay. How's this looking? Oh, it's actually like pretty optimal, huh? Who would have thought? You're not clashing with either of these though, so Mersault, you do one of those. Hongwu, you do one of those, and everyone else is going to go for this eye. Oh, yeah, because we're one person short, that's why uh, Ryoshu has multiple things. Multiple speed dice. But no, that's pretty That's a pretty good uh, thing for a teleport to randomly target, just going all in for the actual boss. Oh, it's, is, is, does it have conditions? I don't think it does, no. I think it just randomly went for the person we wanted to get hit. The issue is, um, we need to make sure we do not get hit for the rest of this fight, because, um, there's a little bit of rupture on everyone, and a little bit, I mean, Dawn has 60 rupture. That's, um, a couple. We're not doing the most damage to him right now, though. We kind of just really need more, like, tertiaries and stuff on most of our people. That's kind of the big issue right now. Who will stop its clang? Oh, who's gonna give this guy a punch to the gut? Ryoshi, you give this guy a put punch to his gut. There we go. I worry this may be a little cruel. He doesn't worry. That's a lie. We all know it's a lie. She's enjoying it. This is art to her. Yeah, um, 60 rupture there. A couple. Definitely a certified a couple moment. God, this background's so cool. Why haven't we gotten a Key Sinclair Toad Ego yet? Like, it's gotta happen sooner or later. Game of Terrain Line with Lust. I mean, that's not bad, actually. I'll take it. Because you know who's got Lust? Ryoshu. Someone else might, too. I'm trying to remember. Does Faust have Lust? She might. Michael Myers. Uh, nothing too good here, so we're gonna recruit some people. Gonna grab Rose Spinner, you. Give you your Lantern, give you your ADD. You don't really need Legger Domain, particularly. Actually, no, what am I saying? We don't need you. Yeah, we can, we've gotten a cost, we could just get two three stars. Grab Snag Harpoon. And. Grab Rose Spinner. There we go. That'll work for me. 200 cost, that's fine. We've got enough for it. And we don't really need spouse skill stuff. So now we've got a full team. Event. Hmm. I'll take the event. Uh, Peak of the Book gives us cost. That's sure. 
So SP damage, we gain 30 cost. Was that worth it? Not particularly. That's fine though. Ooh, lobotomy pack. That's healing. Three events in a row. Yeah, all right. This is, does nothing for us. Faust is the only person who's got a decent chance here. This just increases poise gain from poise Faust. skills, which mm -hmm. we've got. Mm, none of. Yeah. I don't know why it took me so long to make that conclusion when it was pretty apparent to me. Uh, let's see, but we do something like that. There we go. Okay. All right, we're some cake or boon. First fight we've actually had to do on this floor, and I think it's the only one before the boss, thanks to our triple chain of <laughs> events we got for some awful reason. But we're gonna have some sanity issues here, so I don't know if I really want to go for the ego spam option. I understand that it seems kind of necessary here because we're losing a lot of clashes, but uh, if we use more egos, we're just gonna lose more sanity. It's rare if she's in a good place for Sandy's going, she's just having issues. Soda. Sure, that'll be nice. Um, you're also doing fine on Sandy, so you can pop like a loose wallop or something. Yeah. And uh, you can just suffer, honestly. You can just you can just dodge. That'll work. Soda. It's a two target mass attack. It's something. It staggered one of them somehow. Alright. And we are very lucky this guy didn't get a lot of heads, because he theoretically could have won, I think. But now we do our little wind-up punch attack. He's punching just so hard. There we go. Alright, let's see. Now we can go for some normalish options. Some resonance going on here. Some strugglings, though. That's fine. I'm fine with a little bit of struggling. It's 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 human. It's it's within human nature to struggle. Therefore, Mirror Dungeon Two hard is human nature itself, based on my flawless logic. And you've got enough charge to kill this guy with this. Awesome. Love to see it. Yeah, that was a little bit of damage. As she does, and they're all dead. And Ishmael lost her sanity because she didn't get a hit off when we triggered her passive. Always gotta pay attention to that. It should be fine, though. Sure, we're going to the boss with some bad sanity values, but that's fine. Uh, this is, uh, so that no one will cry, I think. I don't know if there's anything else that can be at this I point. Blunt Wrath, but that's classic, so that no one will cry. Unless it isn't, so that no one will cry might be, like, Blunt and Sloth or something weird in Mirror Dungeon 2 hard. No, it's him. That's good. I think the bull's something weird. I think that's what I'm getting mixed up with. Alright, everyone's doing decently for sanity. So we'll see how well we can do here. Weak to Blunt, weak to Pride. Resistance slash. Neutral. We're gonna go for this immediately, I think. We're gonna go for this immediately, I think. I just love my stupid gamble. It's worth it, because, like, everyone's gonna gain a bunch of rupture, but, like, everyone's gonna gain 12 charge count. That's gonna instantly get us everyone to, like, a good spot for, like, the rest of the fight. You know, pretty awesome, I think. We're unable to win any of these clashes, uh, by the way. Okay, there's a neutral, at least. That's decent. Yeah, uh, we will pop another ego then. Snag our in this, honestly. That's decent enough. Decent chances things actually go poorly here, but uh, everything went fine, so things did not go poorly. And he's weak to the bond. Hmm. 
Okay. Leap for even more charge on Ryoshi. She's, she's gonna be almost max next turn. Thanks for the teleport. And you got a heads there, that's good. Yeah. Not a lot of damage, that's for sure. A lot of rupture on everyone though. A lot of charge on everyone, and of course, in classic uh, Merciful fashion, he instantly spends all of his charge. Merciful's the kind of guy that, like, you just can't give an allowance to, because he's gonna spend it all on, like... He's gonna spend it all on, like, collectible nickels, you know? And nickels that, like, don't actually, like, aren't actually, like, valid to use in, like, buying stuff anymore, but he just likes to collect them, because he likes the smell of them or something like that. And he's just gonna blow his like allowance in that every time, so Dante just eventually stops giving him an allowance and Merciless like if this is what you wish. I think this is a pretty plausible scenario. There we go, that's there's a good amount of damage. Hopefully we can Stagger the body or something. We're not gonna be able to stagger the body or something. Looking at it a little closer. Slash <laughs> really is nice though, but he resists slash, so um, it's not really making that big of a difference. Is the next attack what else we had clashing? Yeah, the leap. I see. Oh, the power up. We're actually, actually, we only had a chance because of curriculum vitae. I think. Otherwise, we would have lost that. Chris, what all? Stop moving. What's going on? Okay, well, we can use this on the right arm now, just to kill it. I use it on the body, but it would be resisted, so it just kind of doesn't feel worth it. Struggling? Are you fine with struggling? That's probably better. Something like that. Yeah. Every single passive is triggering. So I think the only passives that aren't, like, guaranteed trigger, aka the passives that are based on own, are, um, Dawns and... Ishmael's both which require three gloom. And yeah, that was a little bit of damage. Oop. Losing the clash, who would have thought? Shouldn't take too much damage though. Mm, he's taking a lot of damage. Yeah, so the normal cry is low in HP now though. I think that's pretty fine. And then this, once again, she actually is only winning this thanks to Curriculum Vitae. Giving her the power up. And now someone's gotta gather the talismans and return them. Faust, mm. you got this. I believe in you. He's gotta get all three of these. Excellent. <laughs> and now we just one side of this guy, and I think we win. Oh, actually. We gotta use Rip Space. We gotta finish him off with a fancy attack, I think. And we'll have other attacks go afterwards just in case things go wrong, but Rip's face should be more than enough. Oh, this is turn 3, isn't it? Was it? Or was it previous turn, turn 3? I don't remember. Either way, we were getting benefit from our Starlight reward. Either this turn or the previous turn. Probably the previous turn. And it's a rupture of... Oh, just rupture with every attack. That's good. We've got some rupture on everything. And standard duty battery. It has the W Corp logo on it, so of course we gotta take it. Second to last drop here. Ishmael skill, absolutely gonna take that. None of the stuff matter. Uh, this was pretty good though. We can afford this though. Yeah. We'll take that, and then we'll also give Ishmael another mind whip in place of a skill one. And now we just need to build up a decent amount of cost before the next uh thing, and you should be set. One of these two, it doesn't matter which one, so I'll go for the middle path. <sighs> middle path is, like, safer, asterisk. And the fact that, you know, it's not actually, like, statistically safer or anything, it just feels safer because it's in the middle, and therefore you're being protected by the top path and the bottom path, creating a little bit of a shell for you, like a cocoon for you to remain in when you're worried. Neutral, struggling. Kinda of low on HP, aren't you? I go for like something like this. 
We get ahead so we'll heal some people, that's good. I'm fine with that. Ooh, that staggered with the tremor burst. Cool. Are you getting countered, I think? Maybe. Ooh. And you got a Tails, though, so it's SP healing instead of HP healing. Also, Soda gets special effects on crit, and Hoglu still doesn't have a way to get crit without um, Ego Gifts, so... I suppose there's any point to that? I'm, I'm kind of shocked that he didn't get any poise thing yet. Still. Because, like, his Soda still feels like such a strange choice. To have, you know, some crit synergy. Uh, two favored. That should be fine. People that can take the hit anyways. Again, I'm a little... I'm not you enough... I'm not cautious enough on floor 5 in Mirror Dungeon too hard. I feel like I'll see, like, if neutral's in favor and be like, that's fine, even though if I lose that clash, that person's probably instantly dead, if not almost dead. I just don't value human life enough, eh? I wonder why. Um, yeah, this is fine. Mirthal, and uh, you're kind of low. Long will you do this. There we go. Takes 10 oh, HP cool. damage, but we gain the hammer, so we'll gain a little more cost this round. Ooh, perversion. You get this always nice, even if it's, you know, this late on. You've only got a high chance. You are guaranteed to win this, yeah. I guess you weren't max sanity, but um, it was still good enough. And we'll take the Abno on here, I think. Yeah. Thanks to Perversion, we can, if we can get a couple kills so with some Wrath attacks, we can get a lot of equal resources. Okay. I just thought I haven't gotten any, like, the really powerful, um... What am I saying? The really powerful charge Ego Gifts. Because those would absolutely be nice. Just hit all these guys, honestly. Not really a reason to that, but uh, beyond just, you know, I felt like, I feel, I feel like hitting them all. Hopeless, hopeless, hopeless. Okay. Neutrals, alright. Maybe there's a smarter ego we could be using here. Maybe. Who knows. We are winning nothing, jeez. We've got no chances on anyone, jeez. You've got a neutral, that's the best chance we've got across the entire team. Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna hope Art of Blossom Star carries us a little bit. Maybe I'll pop, like, one of these, uh, like, one of these. Just got a couple of mass decks in there early on just to make sure we deal with these guys. And you get a heads, of course. Plane Luck is just not with me. Well, 194 damage, that's not bad. Especially because we stagger a bunch of people with the stagger damage we inflict. Pursuance for a little bit of healing on the people that could benefit from a little bit of healing. And just deal more damage to these goons. And land evolution, just to make sure these guys get staggered. The Wrath guys are super weak to this stack, so... Very good. That guy staggered. Yeah, he is. Well, I mean, they all took, like, 40 stagger damage from Art of Blossom Star, so even if it doesn't look like they've taken a lot of damage, they've taken a lot of stagger damage. Alright, that's good. So now, the classic strategy of drawing a circle with our attacks, and just kind of letting them all die. Like that. It's going to be kind of got to hope that we can deal with the boss with our current resources, because we've got a lot of charge stuff. It's definitely, like, our resources are definitely weighted towards, like, Gloom, Pride, Envy stuff. The cool colors, basically. The opposite of, like, what burn teams are weighted towards. Uh, that's not really much of anything. And we'll take bottom path here. Um, look at the pendant on your neck. Give us their pendant. Sure. I'll give someone gloom. 
Rodion skill, eh, copying cranes, eh. We'll give you another skill too. That's good. That's good enough for me. And we don't need to heal anyone, actually. That's good. We'll add, like... Rose Banner's passive is, like, rupture based. Yeah, speed. Yeah. Sure. We'll add you. We'll add, um... No, not you. We'll add you. And we will add you. No reason. Genuinely just felt like adding people for the sake of the joke. Blunt? and gloom might be the bowl Ooh. that's a scary thought but it could be something else hmm it's centipede all right that's actually like this is probably the easiest boss you can get here from my experience i think so in charge in charge Gain charge. Everyone's gonna use their gain charge skills this turn. Gain charge. Gain charge. And gain charge. God. That's all this turn is. It's the setup turn. This guy's having a turn to set up his charge. We're having a turn to set up our charge. It's only fair. I just got a little bit of fragility off thanks to Dawn's Leap. Sinclair's passive is triggering there. Why? I have the most SP deals more damage and is lower SP. That's gonna trigger always, I guess. Low speed inflicts additional rupture targets with Tremor. We'll probably have Tremor like always thanks to this goon. And SP for the enemy police SP if they lost SP. Oh, uh, that'll actually happen to Ishmael on occasion if she doesn't land a hit when her passive triggers, so uh cool. Oh, we can get Mind Whip off now. We're gonna do that on the head though. That'll be the one to clash there. Hmm. And we're going to deal with this. Who is this targeting primarily? Rodeon. Alright. Let's see. Rhyme Shanks are favored. That's decent. That's a struggling because it's a negative. That's a favored. Yeah, a, little, a couple, like, dicey clashes. That's for sure. This guy gets two heads. Like, we just kind of lose our clash. No one else is going to have better chances, though. Because we can't redirect this with anyone except for... Ishmael, and Ishmael's going for a mind whip. So she's preoccupied. Alright, I'll go for it. I know you're all thinking it. I'll go for the joke. Give everyone their charge. What's going for? Oh, that's going for Dawn. Hmm. Nothing we can do about that then. Uh. Oh, this is going for this guy. We're gonna hit him with this then. Yeah, get a little bit of rupture going. Sure. Why not? Yeah. Okay, mind with. It'll be good damage. It'll be good damage. This part's weak to blunt, and it resists wrath, so uh, it kind of breaks even. Cool. Got a bull corrosion. Got the heads. That's nice. Now everyone's going to take a lot of damage this turn, so let's really- If Rodion actually loses this clash, we're going to be in such a bad position. Everyone takes 50% more damage this turn. Hmm. Oh, Plunder Branch triggers there! I didn't expect it to trigger, um... So all of us got one more Rupture potency. Because it counts as inflicting Rupture. That triggers Thunder Branch for some reason, I think. God, that's... Very interesting. Okay, that's good. I was very concerned. All went well, though. I'm saying this is a bunch of sinking. That's always good. This guy kind of dies to sinking. We don't have a lot of sinking, so it's not going to be like that notable, but uh, be a little nice benefit. I have the body's been staggered somehow pretty cool. He's got so many... He's got like a variety of status effects on itself. 
And you have not drawn. You'll, next turn you'll draw. Next turn you'll get your special attack. Hopeless, hopeless. All right. Anyone who doesn't have a chance to win the clash, um, get out. Get out of town. Okay, we'll do this on one of them. And I'll go for this for the more sinking, because that's cool. And then everyone else is just going to go for more, more one set attacks. Next turn we get another Mind Whip, that's good. Ishmael doesn't have two Mind Whips after all. So it probably makes sense that we're going to see a couple of them. Here we go, Shram Shank, just for a bunch of sinking. It's just basically a bunch of damage. And I mean, he's weak to blunt and gloom, so, uh... Taking a lot of damage from the attack itself. Body's gonna get broken once these attacks all go through. Yep, there it goes. Everyone's got so much charge, and we've got DDR, DDEDR now. We're gonna use this. And there's a decent chance it doesn't get to go through, actually, thinking about it. Okay, we're gonna need Ego up once again. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely gonna need to Ego up. This wins a clash, actually. This wins a clash. This wins a clash, and then might be able to win another clash with a random attack. Like a rack up some scores or something? Mm, doesn't seem like it. That's fine then. We can. We can teleport it, eh? We'll hit it with a little bit of a. This teleport? Yeah, we'll teleport it with the other teleport. Dominating, 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 dominating. There we go. And assuming this guy survives this turn, which, uh. He could. Very well could. He's gonna get hit with a DD, DDR. Gonna get hit by the DDR. Yeah, there's just so many things going on to this guy. This is definitely like a very strong run, but like I don't it doesn't feel very synergized. I feel like like we got some bad rolls with our drop people to gain more skills. Because our heavy hitters aren't really rolling enough of their heavy hitting attacks really get much of a benefit from building up a lot of charge. Like, sure, we've got two mines, but we really needed, like, Dawn or Ryoshi to gain additional tertiaries to really benefit from what's going on here. Well, this is... I guess he's gonna survive. He's gonna gain the self-charge, isn't he? I think so, at least. Nice. 8 HP, so this will bring him down to 1. And then self-charge probably triggers. Yes, it does. A little inconsistent. Sometimes it doesn't trigger, sometimes it does. Definitely something to it. Yeah, a couple damage points. A couple points of damage. So now we just gotta win a lot of clashes and there's literally no other thing, no, nothing else for us to be doing right now. We're dominating, that looks good. Uh, erode this. Sure. No. I was considering it, but uh. Yeah, favored the. Struggling with those, okay. You're not gonna be able to clash then. We can use an Art of Blossom Star on you, and we can pursue into the rightmost one. There we go, that'll work. And we'll just randomly select these attacks. They're not really doing anything. Each of these can lose five. Yeah, I guess if we win all these clashes, then we will instantly win. He'll die. And the fight will be over. But if you lose a single one of them, it'll take another turn, which will be fine. Oop. Dragon. And we still have not seen the Bacilla soup at all. Yeah, there's our clash lost. I expected as much. I'm not too worried. I'm like, I really expected the Bacilla soup to show up in Mirror Dungeon 2 or something. Like, we know it exists. It's completely unrelated to the Hell of Chicken event. It's just similarly food-themed. So it's definitely out there somewhere. Who knows? Maybe that's gonna be... Maybe that's gonna be in Refractory Railway, too. I don't know. 
Definitely not like gonna bet on it, but uh, it could be. Okay, there we go, another clash one. So this guy's gonna be like what three self charge, so we win a single clash next turn and dies. I'm pretty sure we can't build up any self charge at this point. But love late game near dungeon two runs where you just kind of there's just so many effects triggering with every attack. If you were hoping to figure out, you know, what each of them does, um, too bad. Favored, yeah, I can go for favored. Actually, we can literally just defend with everyone and still die. This is gonna kill itself. It loses two self charge whenever it initiates an attack with these. So, just for the maximum style points, um, we're just gonna sit back, relax, and watch as it randomly explodes. Yeah, into a bunch of blood. As things love to do in this universe. That's how I'd like to go out. But yeah, that's a that's a that's a victory. Forty percent damage dealt by Ryoshu. That's a lot of damage. God, we didn't even use a lot of evil. With her. I wasn't even particularly like, trying. To... I mean, I guess she was being sent out first, so she was gaining second speed dice first. Perhaps I should thank them for being such a delightful collection of arts. All right then. If you if you want, uh, feel free to be like that. And eighteen modules in exchange to get our big rewards. And the, the, the five minute long scrolling of these. Uh, it just feels good to get like reimbursed for all the boxes I had to spend on getting the new unit and getting her to up to high four. I still definitely am like net negative as far as boxes goes, but at least I got, the, at least I had enough boxes to get a unit in the first place. Not everyone plays the game as religiously as I, so, uh, not exactly a guaranteed thing to have everything in the game. 72 boxes. So I'm now back up to a nice solid 225. So I can just instantly get whatever comes out next. But yeah, um, now that the video is pretty much over, I've done my run. My answer to the question of the day, um, I like the new units a lot, that's for sure. I definitely think Warpong lose kind of underwhelming he's he's stylish though he's honglu it's definitely weaker than all the other honglu identities just because he's got so many good identities i guess liu honglu isn't anything to write home about it's mainly just these three that are kind of very silly and i guess we'll see if charge bearer ends up being good it's still hard to understand at this point but of course ryoshu very funny very similar to warped on a unit that i personally like a lot so i like it a lot and the fact that you can effectively like substitute charge for hp is very cool it's similar to stuff like Dimension Rift's doing, but instead of, you know, just straight up being like, oh, you don't have enough charge, too bad. You don't get any attack, and you take a bunch of damage. Instead, it's like, oh, you don't have enough charge? That's all right. Let me just lend you a quick loan in exchange for part of your soul. It's like a deal with the devil type thing. It's very fry shoot. It's very Faustian bargain type thing, if you know what I mean. But that'll be all for this time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.